In this video, we're going to um, make a start on the heel board. Uh, we also need to just cut out some of the remaining parts of the tunnel uh, before we get started on that. So the progress, what we've up to so far, in the previous video, you would have saw me sort out the, um, the tow board uh, panels. Uh, what we need to do today is just, we can remove out this section of um, the tunnel and I'll need to sort of prepare this, um, the tow board um, and do some repairs on that before we get that ready. Okay, so I've decided to flip the moak up on its side. Um, it's gonna make it a lot easier to sort of see what I need to fix for this um, heat, um, the, for the heel board. So I used um, a spot weld removing drill bit to get rid of some of those welds. So if you look in, yeah, you can see some of them there. Um, from here downwards to the tunnel um, support, I can keep that bit, but this section here, this section here needs to be replaced and possibly that bit there too, I'll have to check out there. Um, I can remove some of this and then that section of the floor to just, just get rid of that because it will make it a lot easier to remove the vertical part from the old floor. So just before I pull the entire thing apart, um, I sort of just want to point out some parts. So this edge here, so what you'd normally have is the floor in here, then the floor comes across and then there's a 90 degree angle that goes up. So you can sort of see this section here that part there is the original floor, the vertical bit that, that 90, 90 degrees. Um, inside this cavity here, you can sort of see like a sandwich section. That's um, the, the um, Bermuda Triangle. You can sort of see it a bit better there, I think. Um, along this edge here, so the floor would normally come, that would be sort of welded to the floor as well, to so this um, angled piece. And then that um, build completes the, the frame to allow the side floor panel to fit in there. So it's pretty basic, um, but I need to remove all this. Um, I'm gonna work out what to do with the, um, the battery compartment, uh, whether or not those pieces need to come out of the floor, but I'll, I'll start pulling out all this because I need to be able to get to this part here, the old floor, the vertical part, to um, remove it. So that's it here, because that needs to come out. Okay, so I've started to remove the um, the old floor, just taking out the spot welds. I tried a different. I tried using the grinder, but it's more efficient to use the um, the spot weld remover drill bit. What I've actually purchased is one that's much shorter. So that allows to get the sort of drill in at the right angle. So that's been a bit more useful. Um, the other thing is I'm trying to identify the spot welds. I'm just trying to find my pen. I'll bring you in a bit closer. So it can be a bit tricky trying to locate them. Um, in this case here where it's nice clean metal, it's relatively easy to find them because what you're looking for is like a little um, crater, like a little in indentation. And then that's where it will be. Um, a useful tip is to just sort of just do that. Or if you're grinding it, do that. But if you're just gonna drill them, just put a little dot. Um, and then you can go along with the punch and then just re remove, center punch them. Yeah, that'll be need a bit of effort to find those ones. Um, I like to use one of these punches. I'll just demonstrate on here. Uh, it helps the um, drill bit sort of get into position. Um, stops it from jumping around and sliding around. So I'll drill this one out myself a bit more room. Okay, we'll go for this one.
just make sure you don't go through both panels. It's not a major drama if you do, but it just means you have to fill it. I think the best way to do it is like work your way along because then you can sort of jam a screwdriver underneath and then it will um, sort of pop up. If you put a bit of pressure underneath, it'll pop up when done does. So that's still a bit too tight. Okay, what you can see now, I don't know how well you can see that. I'll just bring you in a bit closer. But you can sort of see a bit of rust underneath. So that is this bottom panel, which is now exposed there. So if I were to jam the screwdriver underneath, sort of um, just needs a little bit more of a drill, but then it will um, pop off and be released. So where I'm up to at the moment, I've you, you will get a bit of metal stuck underneath bits like this. That's the um, divider. It's fiddly to get that out because there's a spot weld right on the edge there. Um, this piece as well, it's a similar situation where you've got a weld on top to deal with and that we'll get there. So I might have to grind that one down. Uh, the next step as well is to sort out the battery compartment. So it's likely, well the, the kit I'm buying for the um, outer floor panels, it comes with um, that piece and these brackets um, underneath as well. So it comes with them. So I can cut these out and destroy them, but I'll see if I can get them out without destroying them. So that'll be the next step. So I tried to um, cut it out, um, the battery support, uh, in a way that I could recover it, but it's too difficult. It's too fiddly, so I've just cut the entire thing out and then cut on these supports here too. Because I've got um, one in the, um, the, the floor panel kit anyway, so I mean it would have been nice to cut out and then it's a spare part that we can do something with, but even to get it with these brackets off would be too hard anyway. It's too difficult. Is it quicker just to cut the whole thing out? All right, let's rip it out. I wasn't sure, wasn't sure if there's a weld underneath here. Yeah, I think I still need a cut over here, but that ends um, pretty much loose. Okay, so I have removed all the floor out of that battery compartment. Um, I've got to clean up these side bits. Um, that's all got to be removed still. That's the edge of the main bracket that went across. Uh, that's like the little um, tray that everything sort of lines up with. And there's another one on that side there. Um, these brackets, I believe they... They're the actual um, end pieces of the floor supports. Um, and then the, the spot welds have just broken loose. All right, so now I just need to finish drilling out these spot welds and then removing the old piece of floor. Okay, so we've got a bit more progress. Um, I've started to remove the vertical panel off the, um, the cross member for the seats. Um, it's very fiddly to try and find the um, spot welds where they are because it, it's not always um, clear just by looking at the paintwork where they are. Um, one technique I found useful was just cut, cutting all the, as much of the um, vertical part out as you could and then just put um, some angle grind, some slits in there. You can sort of move those bits and it kind of will reveal where the actual spot welds are. Uh, what else have I done? Sort of just cleaned up this corner a bit more. Um, that's ready to sort of have the parts cut out and then replaced with new metal. I still need to grind these tabs down for the um, battery support. And of course the, the ends of the brackets are still up here, so I'll get them out once it's inverted. And the same as the remaining floor. I think it'll be easier to do it if I flip the whole shell over. Um, so I'm sort of just, yep, yeah, I'll finish off that cross member and then we'll see what we'll do next. Uh, so that was a bit of a challenge to get this vertical panel for the um, seat cross member taken out, but 
I've managed to um, get that all out now, so that's ready. Uh, I'll do, an, I'll do a test fit with the spare panel. Uh, what I've put down here, this is the um, upright section panel. I'm sort of just test fitting just to see how that fits in there. That actually fits nicely. Um, the end of it, like the creases in it, they all line up. Slit there, that crease, that bends across. And I can sort of see where things need to go now. So that actually um, fits nice. Um, the only issue is the bolt hole is like, it's a fraction off. It's probably practically nothing anyway. You can sort of see there. It's a little bit off, but it's, I don't think it's going to matter. Um, might be a slight gap at the end here, but that once I fix up that panel, um, that's not going to be, that's not a major issue anyway. Um, yeah, because that um, directly welds onto that back piece of the tow board. So there's a slight gap there, but that's not going to matter um, that much at all. It's been um, a day or two since I last reported anything, but I'll just show you the progress so far. Um, on the left-hand side, left side panel, rem removing the floor panel, so there it is there, um, I've managed to drill out the spot welds from the rail. Um, this bit needs to be fixed up. I made one hole over there, but that's not an issue. Um, I'm thinking I might just actually just cut that whole piece out. It's very hard to get the spot welds out of that piece. Um, so it's a bit rusted on the other side too. So it may just be better off to replace that whole corner piece. Uh, what else have I done? Up the top here, um, I need to remove the floor for the, the right hand side pannier. Um, in order to do that, you've got to I've got to mark the spot welds and then drill from the other side because the floor is underneath that panel. I don't want holes in that. Um, just one little trick I found. If you get your torch or light source at the right angle, because um, like looking like that, it's like where I put the black dots, that's the spot welds, but it, you wouldn't know that that's where the spot weld is. But if you get the light at the right angle, I'll just see if it does it here. You can sort of see craters where each of the spot welds are. Some of them show up better than others. But you just get the light at the right angle. And it helps identify. And you can sort of see the spacing as well. Um, it's a similar sort of gap. Don't forget these cars were built by people doing these spot welds by hand. So there will be variation. You can see that in the height of them. Alright, so the next um, thing I need to do is probably... Um, drill the other side of this spot welds to try and undo some of that remaining floor panel because it's all that's all got to come out um, ready for the new piece to slide in there. Okay so the update so far on the progress um, I've removed out like most of the floor um, panel section from this side the right side of the car. Um, getting rid of them undoing the spot welds I found it easier just to drill a hole through this side and then that way on the other side I can see clearly where I need to use the um, spot well remover drill bit. Um, this will, that was so much quicker even though I still need to um, weld up and fill these holes it's still so much quicker doing it that way than trying to work out where the spot weld is, judge on the other side and work out where to drill. Um, this way I know exactly where I need to drill. Um, next step will be just to, there's still little bits of um, floor panel that need to be cut out but certain sections are going to be replaced in whole anyway so it's likely that the next step will be to flip the entire thing over so it's sitting down on this side because um, I still need to remove the old floor from the bottom side and then I've got to flip it over it's easy to work on it the other way around okay I'll leave it there Thanks for watching my videos.